This video is going to be a review of the golf courses in the Huahin area. The golf courses are diverse with designs that are good for the everyday hacker all the way up to the top touring professionals in the world. One quick data point. An article in Forbes in September this year named Hua Hin as one of the top three places to retire in the world. One of the reasons they listed was the golfing. Hua Hin is home to the first golf course ever in Thailand. Hua Hin also has the most dense number of golf courses in any city in Thailand. And four of the golf courses in Hua Hin are in the top 20 in all of Thailand. Before I review the actual golf courses, I wanted to show you one of the websites that is my go-to website when I want to play and do a little research, and that is huahingolfcourse.com. I have no affiliation with them. I have no affiliate. I make nothing from this. It's just the website that I go to when I want to look for the best pricing or to see if there's any specials. Now I'd like to highlight some of those top golf courses in Thailand with the first being Black Mountain. Black Mountain is ranked as the number one or number two golf course in all of Thailand year after year. It's a true resort style course and there are professional golf tournaments held here every year. The next highly ranked golf course is Banyan, and Banyan ranks number two or number three in all of Thailand consistently year after year. Another excellent professional style golf course. Third on the list is Springfield Royal Country Club, designed by Jack Nicholas, 27 holes, and it is ranked currently at 16th in all of Thailand. And the last top 20 ranked golf course is Imperial with 36 holes. I've played this many times. It's an excellent challenge and I really like playing here. One of the courses that is not in the top 20 in Thailand and I wanted to call this out is Sea Pines, which has three closing holes off the ocean. Excellent golf course. And the reason I wanted to highlight this one is because it is the flattest golf course in the Hua Hin area. So if you're elderly and you don't want to walk up and down hills, then Sea Pines is a great, spectacular golf course. I love playing there. Now, if you look at the backside of that golf course there with the line of trees, you see some condo buildings in the distance. I have two rentals there and I've done videos on those two rentals. So if you're looking for one bedroom in the Kautikib area and you want to play golf at the Sea Pines, it's right across the street that is a great place to stay, so you can check out those videos another time. For those of you curious where these golf courses are located in Hua Hin, around the center of Hua Hin would be the Royal Hua Hin Golf Club that you can see there in the lower middle. It is uh, right next to the old train station, about one kilometer from the center of Hua Hin and from there you can judge where the rest of them are. The cost of green fees in Thailand are very seasonal. They peak around the November to the March timeframe. The prices that are showing are good until October 31st. The prices you see here are for the green fees only and having a caddy is compulsory in Thailand, which ranges from 300 to 350 baht that you have to pay. If you require a golf cart, then you're gonna have to add in another 600 to 650 baht per person. And every golfer is also expected to tip the caddies 300 to 350 baht or tip them more if they did an excellent job. The pricing you see here are based on single players, there are packages for two, three, or four people, so you are incentivized to gather a couple of your buddies or play with your wife, and you'll actually save a little money.
What these travel sites don't show you is that there are special deals. For example, some courses have a twilight fee after 2 p.m. or they have certain days where you get a cheaper rate and rates also fluctuate if you are there just visiting or if you're a Thai resident or local part of the military and so every time you want to play you do want to check the website of the golf course to see if they have any specials on the day that you want to play. website I mentioned before is going to show you where they have the special packages or better pricing for two, three, and four players. You can also buy a package deal where you get a better price if you pay for three different courses or five different courses and those packages change so you always want to check to see what the latest package is. final item to review is that the Palm Hills Golf Course, which I believe is the best one that has a country club feel to it, the way that it's designed with the palm trees, the landscape, mountain views, it's beautiful. And they do offer memberships. And as you can see here, you can join for one year, it's 30,000 baht. And then you have your choice on the upper right is you can, number one, pay annual fees for 20,000 baht where you can play unlimited. Or number two, where you can pay every time that you play, but it is a discounted rate. Just keep in mind that whether you choose option one or number two, that is only inclusive of the green fee. You still have to pay for a caddy, you still have to tip the caddy, and you would still have to pay for a golf cart if required. Thank you.